is to bringing in students from Egypt. So we're talking about sponsoring students who are doing well in their classes in Egypt, but also have their needs-based students. So they're not, you know, they're not AUC students, they're not, you know, children of professors or, you know, well-to-do people. But at the same time, they're successful in their studies, they're doing well. And we can take, we can offer them a one-year program where we sponsor their costs in the U.S. and partner with universities to have them cover the tuition. So the schools would cover the tuition, we would cover everything else. All we would need is to have people come over willing to, you know, give us a year of their time to, you know, whether it's a research-based initiative or it's a year of studies in their, you know, undergraduate or graduate studies. And we, the one thing we're, you know, as a community, we're full of is doctors, engineers, and professors. So, you know, having the connections and having students from Egypt to bring them over, we felt would be feasible. It's something we can start on a small scale, maybe it's even three to five students in a couple of universities, in a couple of universities. And this way it's, it fits well with our education theme. And we also have a lot of control over it because the work is happening here in the U.S. as opposed to in Egypt where we've had a lot of challenges in the past. So that's what we have right now. We don't, you know, we still have to do the legwork, we still have to do our due diligence, reach out to these universities, talk to some of the professors. We know some of them have done it on an individual basis in the past. So we, you know, we have a lot of people we can kind of reach out to and learn from their mistakes and be able to execute this fairly quickly. And that's that's kind of our, you know, main main theme for the time being. But having, you know, not finalized that idea or that cause that that we're talking about, we feel it's you know strong enough and it's simple enough that it would be manageable for us. And if we we could take it even a level higher and talk about, you know, education as you know the vision for the future and the development that Tom said and and be able to sell that and then use. Um, use that sponsorship as, you know, as a specific example of how we're implementing, um, you know, that money and how we would be utilizing it for education. Uh, go ahead. Uh, I really like the interview. I mean, 